In this example, we will look at how to factor a trinomial using the grouping method, and the trinomial does not have an a value of 1. So let's look at our first step. It says we factor out a GCF if we have one. Well, when I look at this problem, my coefficients are 3, 31, and 10. Those numbers do not have any factors in common, so I can be done with step 1. Now let's look at step 2. I have to find two numbers whose product is AC and whose sum is B. So for step two, I'm going to multiply A times C and obtain 30, and then I need a list of the factors of 30. Now, I could make the entire list, but remember, I need to add up to 31, so I could have stopped with 1 and 30, because 1 plus 30 equals 31. So I'm done with step two. Now I'm on to step 3. So my trinomial is 3x squared plus 31x plus 10. But I want to rewrite it as four terms. So the middle term, 31x, instead of 31x, I write it as 1x plus 30x. And remember, I'm using those two factors from my list in step 2, the 1 and the 30. That was step three. Now I'm moving on to step four where I'm going to factor by grouping. So I take the four terms and I split them into two pairs of two terms. So the first two terms are 3x squared plus 1x. They have a GCF of x. If I factor out x, it leaves behind 3x plus 1. Now when I look at the 30x plus 10, I see they have a GCF of 3. I'm sorry, they have a GCF of 10. So when I take out a 10, it leaves again behind 3x plus 1. So this is where I look at the problem and I know that I'm on the right path because my two binomials match, 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 1. So now I'm able to finish step 4. I take the x plus 10 and I form one binomial, and then the matching binomials, 3x plus 1, that becomes my other binomial. So I'm pretty sure I'm done with step four, but I want to make sure that I have the correct answer. So I think the answer is x plus 10 times 3x plus 1, but I'm going to check it in step five. So let me write the binomials one more time, and now let me do FOIL. I'd get 3x squared plus x plus 30x plus 10. Now, if I look at the two terms in the middle and I combine like terms, when I add plus 1x plus 30x, I'm going to get back my original trinomial that had the 31x in the middle. So I know my binomials x plus 10 times 3x plus 1, I know they are the correct factorization of this problem.